buy you. We are. We can have your pick. What will it be? Arisen returns. Are you come to lead the pawns in a quest to slay the dragon? Those equivocal husks. Will or nil, the Arisen is always drawn to the dragon, as puppets strung in fate's own thread. Many have come before you, eager to stand tall atop the grand capstone of worldly truth that is the dragon. The dragon is ever born in you into the world, and with it too, the Arisen. All Arisen seek out the dragon, but lucky are the few who attain an audience with the beast, while yet they live. Ours is a weak, fragile world, and little within it is more frail than man. In yon encampment they gather up their knights and hired steel. They think to grow their numbers and hunt the dragon. But they shall soon learn their lot will e'er be as prey. Thank you. 
Oh, hey, Benita has you picking flowers for her. Come on. I do not. If you, what can I do you for? I can. Hello. Where do the curing flowers grow? Hmm. Have you had a look by the shore? If not now, I recall seeing some. The E... Gathering ingredients, eh? You often see those flowers growing at the roots of bigger trees. Not that I'm fain to brave the roads these days. Just see you're not injured yourself, good fisher. You took up steel and drove the dragon from Cassidus, yes? I heard about that. And of course you know me. I come here now and again to restock my wares. Uh, you do recall me, yes? Madeline, finest peddler in all Grancis, ravishing beauty of legend and song. Madeline, well, no matter. I've bigger problems. These are dark days, so terrible as to drive even I to the brink of tears. And yet, just when I need the aid of one both clever and strong, you arrive. Truly, fortune means us to partner together. Don't you agree? <laughs> Only a fool could mistake the thread of destiny what links us. You will be my savior true, and after me, the world entire. And with that, we must be off. I trust you know of the encampment outside the village. I must travel there with all speed, but the wilds are perilous of late. Would you see me there safely? It is not far from here to the encampment. The girl will be fine. It gives me chills just to think of it. Ah! I was. I didn't. Oh, I make no excuse, cousin. I hid in the well for fear of the dragon. And let me tell you this. You'd be wise to keep your distance from that pit. I was too craven to venture far. And lucky thing, a queer growl echoed back with the sound of water from further in. There's aught down there. Mark my words. I could feel it, I could. You not see me going back down there to find out what... Aye, tis a rank fool who rushes into danger of his own will.
my shield. I yet cannot fathom how you drove that terrible worm from the village. That dragon has ill timing for true. I was near to closing several deals in Grand Soren when it struck. You should pursue a future yourself in the capital, you know. One who can face down a dragon would find no shortage of clients. Tis a shame monsters forced the mountain pass what leads they are closed. We have the dragon to thank for that as well. I make for the encampment to speak with the guard captain and learn when they will reopen the pass. True, there are other ways to the capital, other paths. But in our final chatter, we should move. You'll find naught but the finest way. Thank you. And all thanks goes to your fine work. We'd best be inside, don't you think? This may sound untoward, but have you aught in the way of coin? Please, I must make for the capital, but times are dark and my purse light. It's a terrible curse being poor. Times are it takes all I have just to keep the tears back. Will you spare some gold? I would repay you, of course. At some point. Most likely. Bye. Is there no room in your black heart for mercy? I fear for any who would call you lover, if you're this cruel to one so fair and kind as I. Well, I see your mind is set. If ever fortune sees you to Grand Soren, and me to setting up my shop, I would still ask you visit. But perhaps the lucid will find not what the 